Έλα. They say you can't walk this battlefield without getting blood on your toes. This is where Leonidas was laid to rest. I wish I had known him. If you close your eyes, you can hear them. Their final war cries. Before every last one of those brave Spartans perished. Their voices were silenced that day. But their story will be sung for an eternity. You didn't bring me here to talk about dead Spartans. What's on your mind, Herodotus? The Battle of Thermopylae still echoes in our hearts. But to stand here is to feel it in your bones. There's nothing here but ghosts. My concerns are with the living. Hold out your spear. My spear? What for? I need to know something.
Uh. I'm fine. I'm fine. The stories are true. That is the spear of Leonidas. The hero's blade. Where were Sparta's allies? The Spartans weren't alone in facing Xerxes and his hordes. Many from across the Greek world were armed and ready to fight alongside Leonidas and his 300. But when the mighty king looked into their eyes and saw fear, he sent them home. That sounds like madness, not bravery. It was foretold by the Pythia that Sparta would lose either its freedom or its king to the Persians. Leonidas made his choice. What happened to Leonidas after the battle? Xerxes was famous for honoring warriors who fought valiantly against the Persians. But Leonidas infuriated him so much, he cut off his head and impaled it on a pike. A bloody battle ensued, and his remains were reclaimed by the Spartans and buried here. Now, however, he rests where he belongs. In Sparta. What happened to the traitor, Ephialtes? King Xerxes paid him well, but treachery breeds treachery. A contract was put on his head, and he died as he lived, a coward. You knew this would happen. I didn't know, but I did suspect. There is a place I convinced myself was a dream. Until now, a peculiar structure on the island of Andros. Mysterious shapes carved in stone, like nothing I've ever seen. You want to sail to Andros so you can show me shapes? In my travels, I heard whispers of an ancient civilization. A people who came before. Your spear and that place are connected. You mentioned the people that came before. Who were they? They were not gods, but they lived far longer than any mortal and were far more intelligent. I've seen carvings in caves, strange symbols that suggest it was this ancient civilization that created humankind and provided them with fire. But Zeus blamed Prometheus. Yes. Well, perhaps his eagle has been feasting on the wrong liver. The spear awakened to you, Herodotus. I trust you. You understand. I will do everything in my power to help you find your mother. I promise. But first, we must sail to the island of Andros. I'll meet you at my ship. Welcome aboard the Adrestia, Irodotos. Will you be traveling with us? Only for a short trip. I have business to attend to in Athens. Irodotos is helping me find my mother. Seeking help from the gods has put Irodotos on your path, just like they put you on mine. They were the ways beyond our comprehension. All we can do is follow their lead. You could be right. Irodotos and I shall end this time. Like in Finor? She is. Was part of a very powerful group called the Cult of Cosmos that controls the Greek world through the Oracle. Control the Oracle? Impossible! Apollo would not allow that! Now they're looking for my mother. I need to find him before they do. And I believe they will fall upon us because they can use it My enemies! The Oracle lost to corruption and now this cult? Do we know who leads them? I don't know for sure. But I think it might be my brother. Your brother? By Zeus, your life is complicated! Tell me, brother. But don't you worry. This cult of Cosmos now has three new enemies. And one of them fights like Athena and shit thunder like Zeus! We'll bring the wrath of the gods down upon them! Is he always this positive? Always. That's why I like him. Poseidon carry us to Athens! First, we need to go to Andros. To Andros, then! 
We're going to have to do some upgrades to my ship if we're sailing into war. What do you mean? Well, she's old, and perhaps not in the best condition. You couldn't have said this before we set sail? Where in Poseidon's name are we going to get the supplies? My father taught me that the sea takes, and we must do the same. Fortunately, there are plenty of pirate ships in these waters that we can board and take from. What are we waiting for? Let's hunt some pirates! Hit them with your spear! We've reached full speed!
an army brought it back in the Battle of Ternobile. Why bring it back to her? Leonidas was her father. Incredible. And it gives you visions. Perhaps it's trying to guide you. Show you a path. There's more. It helps me in battle. What do you mean? I can't really describe it. It's like I know what my opponent's next move will be just before it happens. Fascinating. This is just extraordinary. Yes, here we can see the tomb of the greatest Myrmidon, Achilles. I was more excited by the fact that Andros exports some of the most expensive marble in the world. Is this the place with the rumored ancient civilization ruins you are talking about? It is. Look for a large gate. Onward!
Here it is. Hesitation only hastens. The grave, I know, Mater. Your form is improving. Your resolve is strong. But you're not taking action. I was going to. I know. But it's the moments in between that decide everything. Your turn. Leonida's spear. You're old enough now. My father's spear holds a certain burden, but you're ready. something. Huh? The spear. It has magic. Carries with it a long line of power. A bloodline of incredible heroes. The same blood within you and me and our family. All of us? Think of Leonidas. He had great courage. And he made a great sacrifice. You share in his blood and the strength he possessed. We are able to feel certain things happening around us. That is our family's gift. But not everyone understands that. Some recognize the power we bear and want it only for themselves. They will try to take it from us. I won't let them. I know. You're a warrior. If we keep moving forward, always moving forward, we're untouchable. Storms coming in. And maybe we should move forward now. <laughs> Mother, I haven't forgotten you. This exists.
I even explain this to someone like Marcos? Something's glowing over there. The Forge! I knew I let you stay in the Animus too long. Your vitals are crashing. You don't understand. This confirms it. Cassandra didn't just have Isu technology. She had the means to improve it. Imagine how powerful the staff could be. I admit, that could be an incredible find. But right now, I'm the doctor, and I take care of you. Now get some rest before you go back to Cassandra. If you insist... But only because I've got work to do on the outside. Please, just clear your head. The last thing we need is a cell leader suffering from the bleeding effect and spearing us because we're Hittites or Thracians. I won't. The Thracians throw great parties. Don't forget, we're a team. We'll back you up until you're finished your investigation. I know. Kyoshi secured the loft yesterday and he's keeping an eye out. Elena's on call doing historical research. And I'm here to talk if you're feeling any confusion from the Animus. Always the therapist. So, Doctor, how do you feel now that we're closer than ever to the staff? I believe this staff is important. But the Templars and Assassins have found staves of Eden before. Nikolai Tesla blew one up in Russia, if I remember correctly. This is different. If what I saw in Egypt is true, this staff doesn't control minds. It controls physics. Time. Imagine rewriting the rules of the universe. The spear you found is right here, and it's not doing anything. The spear's attached to a bloodline. Leonidas, Cassandra, and Themos, I mean, Alexios, they were intimately connected to it. Are you sure you can use the Staff of Hermes, then? No. But if the Templars get it, they won't stop until they find someone who can. So, what do you think of my new Animus? You mean, our new Animus? That's Abstergo equipment. Which I've modified to within a millimeter of its digital life. It's an Animus console prototype, Brahman variant, with the I.O. capacities pushed to their max. Ultra-portable with more calculating power than NASA and CERN combined. I'll go stretch my legs. Too bad we don't have access to the Absurgo gym anymore, huh? Membership costs too much. 